kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. Here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Did you give her 7018s? No. Nope. Just started. <laughs> How's she going today, guys? Well, Mom's welding. Hell froze over, and Antoine's working on his tractor. Look at that. He's even letting me paint some of it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let's go ask him if he's sick. Where'd he go? Oh, he's sneaking away. He's running away. We'll hunt him down. Look at that. Hell froze. Hell froze right over. He's even letting me paint the tractor. People are wondering, are you sick? Probably. <laughs> Rob's over there putting the radio in. He learned how not to fall off a drilling rig today. Antoine's changing door pins. Snowing like a bitch. But that's alright because we need the moisture. Anyways. So, Tuan, what are we all doing on the tractor today? Tomorrow. Wow. Nothing. A new pipe. Put a new pipe on. Turn the light. Change that because it was leaking like a son of a gun. Uh, we got new battery covers. He did this one last year. And now we, he's got one for the other side. So we're going to paint boxes and steps, I think. Updated, uh, I know, updated bezel. Door with no pins in it, but it still moves if you're careful. <laughs> now he's putting new door pins in. He's going to try to get the lights working on it. He's got new bushings for the front end, but I don't know if that's going to happen right now because lots of fuckery. <laughs> he's got a new dash but he's missing pieces, so he can't do that either. But at the very least, it's gonna get door hinges and lights. <laughs> and some paint, a little bit. Not too much, but some. So, and then Dad's making a hitch on the towing truck, taking the fuel tank and everything off because this tank didn't work very well. And then the uh, tank actually cracked. So, it's gonna be I don't think I'm going to put a tank back on it. I think what we're going to make instead is a rack and you can put another uh, five bales on the deck because I mean the trailer's way back here behind the cab. So you can put a few more bales on the deck. Gave her a once over here an oil change. And then I found this on a wreck out in the trees. It's an actual Lund visor. So I put that on there. I fucking love those things. I think they look awesome on any truck. <laughs> so I threw that on there. And I'd like to find one of the old school bug deflectors for on the hood here. And then some whips. <laughs> Just be the 1980s. Trucking in the 80s. Anyway. So I just threw some primer on the steps and the new side cover. I'm just... It's just going to be a quick paint job, and then it'll get a real paint job after, but this will spruce things up a little bit for this summer at least. I might do the hood on it too. We'll see. That'll probably turn into the fuel tank and the frame, and then probably the whole tractor. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do a little bit of sprucing and upping and inging on the old girl, so I guess we'll bring you back in a few. It's Christmas time, it's Christmas time, <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> so, we got some moisture at least, so that's a plus, but uh, kind of came in the shittier form of the two kinds, but well, whatever, it's not hail, so I guess, kind of hail, but not really. <laughs> Uh, 
We gotta go throw a couple of uh, straw bales out here for everybody. Because it rained and then snowed, obviously, so things are quite sticky. And then, uh, once we're done that, we'll go back in the shop. Actually, I gotta go to Mooseman and pick up a, the cab kit for that tractor, and Amanda's got a doctor appointment for the BB. So we'll uh, be going up there for that. See what kind of road trip that's like in this shit, but whatever, shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, got the shredder hooked up, and we're gonna go grab a barley straw, maybe two, and uh, we'll go and uh, hammer that out. So we will talk to you in a few. Well, it's not a, a, this, a super professional paint job this guy's getting right now. <laughs> Uh, I just told Twana to do the fuel tank and the hood and some things and then it would bother him enough. Make the rest of it really look like crap and then he'll uh, definitely have to paint the rest of it. So, whatever, I done the hood and stuff just because it was so ridiculously fucking rusty. I mean, the fenders are no better than people. Oh, leave the patina. That looks like fucking shit. Drive around in something that looks like it belongs in the junkyard. So, anyway, I'll paint like that. When it gets left that way, it just looks like neglect. So, gave her a quick shot there just at the rattle can. I mean, that's not uh, fantastic. I mean, it looks good. But uh, this winter coming up, the rest of it will get a, a real paint job. So, I smoothed out a bunch of it, but I mean, it's got fucking dints all over the place on it. So, I'll have to piss around and do it properly after, but whatever. It really makes the rest of it. <laughs> that's all right so he's got to get lights and things going on it but it's kind of a shit day outside i don't know if he's gonna go away bobby with your adding five photos on facebook <laughs> anyway it's kind of a shit day outside We'll see if he makes it or not, but whatever anyways. I gotta, like I said, I gotta go up to Mooseman here for a doctor's appointment in a little bit, so. That'll be exciting. <laughs> um, the hitch is done on the back of this truck. Now we can uh, tow things, you know, uh, like uh, heavy, heavier things like... Uh, that Viking that I want to rent and whatnot, you can't pull it behind a three quarter ton. So it'll go good behind this truck. And there's been other stuff too, like I would like to put live hydraulics on here and have like one or two remotes. And then if you ever bought a Cullivator or something uh, a ways away and to bring it home, well, you'd be able to run the hydraulics on it for the wings and the lift and stuff like that. Same with when I bought my heavy harrows, this would have been the truck to use. It's a bit much behind the Duramax, but yeah, anyway, that's what's happening now. Look at that nice versatile red on the fuel cap. <whistles> nice. So, anyway, I guess that's what's happening. We'll bring you back in a bit. So, Hank, how are you today? Just fantastic. Just dandy. I see you're getting ready to move on to the colony. When yeah. is that happening? Soon, maybe one day. That's good. Juan, are you having much success? A little bit, some not bad. He's got lights again, a few here and there, not everywhere, but some places. So, <laughs> nothing a little bit of wiring and splicing and rat nest can't fix, eh? No one wants to be in vidges around here anymore. I'll have to go shut the radio off. I'm gonna get demonetized. There we go. Now I won't get demonetized, Juan. <laughs> ah, what else is going on in here? Fucking get out of the way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, we didn't end up going anywhere because it's so fucking disgusting outside. The roads are a sheet of ice, so. Uh, the other day, Amanda and I went to Brandon and we got a flat tire on this unit. Isn't that nice? So, on these uh, newer vehicles, they have a 20 inch rim and it had a 255-55R20 tire on it. And all you could get were P-metric, which are garbage, 
that's like a, a pavement tire but uh, why is it recording upside down well, well whatever I can flip it after so I done much hunting around and you could not get an LT tire in that size so we went up to a 265 60 20 and uh, it's a, a saloon it's called pretty nice looking tires so uh, we went from a $500 tire down to 280 for these and it's a heavier and better tire so that's kind of a, a nice trade-off I thought so uh, I got the one on there to make sure everything was gonna fit since it's a little bit bigger than what's supposed to be in there and it's good so I'm gonna bring those other ones in tomorrow and get that changed around and there'll be one more project knocked off anyway but I gotta give that thing uh, another coat of paint on the hood the rest of it is done he's got to put his lead lights on it tomorrow and he should be ready to put it in the auction right Juan he'll be ready to go in the auction tomorrow pretty close <laughs> anyway I guess I'll bring you back tomorrow. We'll finish up the video. Ah, okay. Next day again. <laughs> Antoine got a few lights working on it. But uh, I'm going to throw one more shot of green down on it here. And then that'll be that done with that way. I made a miss there yesterday somehow after you painted the same color for half an hour 20 minutes like that you kind of go color blind <laughs> anyway now i'm gonna give her another shot here and i'll bring it back in a few oh oil for days Did you guys hear that? all the ice just fall off the one bin over there? Fuck. Makes a guy kind of nervous around here now. <laughs> Things are kind of starting to warm up and melt a little bit again here. Now all that ice and shit's running off the roofs. again we gotta put some bedding out everything's kind of damp in the corrals good enough when we uh, get over there I'll show you Amanda's new purchases that she got on the weekend here and that's probably where we'll end the video Bring it back in a couple. For a quick three hour fucking go of things, <laughs> that ain't too bad, I don't think. <clears throat> it's got a few dints and shit, but this was just kind of to roll razz old Antoine there. It'll make the rest of it look faded and <laughs> but not enough now. Maybe it'll. Uh, pull the plug and we can do the whole thing the right way but for now you know for just a rattle can I think that turned out pretty good so all the other pieces are over here through grip tape on the steps all I ever do is rattle can these because fuck after you get in and out six times the paint's all rubbed off anyways there's no point in uh, doing anything too fancy for the steps like that but as for the rest of it, that's just going to be a nice quick little uh, shine up for the old girl anyways, so. Once he's done with the rest of it, it can, uh, I don't really know what all he's got left to do. He's putting lead lights on it here. He got one on. Oh no, he's got both of them on. Never even noticed. 
and there's two more here now to go down on the uh, fenders these great big fuckers here like so or however but he's got to run wires down there for power yet and everything for them but anywho let's go put some straw out there we go happy cows one pen anyway now we gotta go do the the uh expecting close to be mothers to be unit and then we'll do the mother baby unit over there <laughs> just like a hospital eh? <laughs> anyway these girls here are a little bit farther off this one here is real late she slipped her calf there shortly after she had got bred because she had caught with ai and then uh, she ended up she lost it so she's rebred again or she caught again the second time but it'll be uh She's going to be later in May here, I think, but whatever. There's Amanda's two girls right there, the new ones. Speckle Park heifers. And they are uh, bred to, I think it's the 2018 Grand Champion, Mr. Perfect. So hopefully there's going to be a little bit of money out of them too, because there's a few dollars spent to get them here. <laughs> They're not papered purebred because we that we could couldn't afford that. So uh, that's our start anyway. We, we I don't know. We would kind of like to get into the speckle park like that. It's uh, Amanda's long long term plan, anyways. But this is the start. Is those two there? So anyway, I guess that's where I'm going to leave you guys for now. Kind of tight maneuvering around in here, so I better not be. Uh, on my phone at the same time <laughs> anyway i guess thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe for more and we will talk to all of you in the next one <laughs>